I decided to leave this part in because I was so tired, but I ended up using the Pixie Beauty Eye Gels. I love these, especially when you keep them in the fridge. They feel amazing. And I'm loving this fresh lip balm. It's so good. It's like cinnamony and amazing. So definitely recommend it. I've been doing so good not picking my lips because I've been packing them on. So I'm gonna use the Dal 10 eyeshadow palette. I love this, it's so beautiful every day wear. It's just really, really pretty and natural. So I'm taking this really light shade color and I'm just basically gonna put it all over my lid, just like I always do. It's just so that my lids don't look super, super white because I got concealer under them. I'm gonna try to use lots of different products that I haven't really used in a while or new ones. So that's why I'm not doing like my whole face. Then I'm just taking this shade and it's kind of like got a little bit of a gray undertone, but it's still nice and tan. I'm just gonna put that on my corner. Then I'm taking this color and I'm gonna pack it on my top lid and I'm just using a flat brush and this is just so it's nice and matte. And then I'm gonna take a deeper shade that's in the palette that's a brown color. I'm using a flat brush and I'm just going to align my eyes with it and make a little cat eye wing type of thing. This is really easy if you mess up if you don't have foundation on first, which is why I like to do my eyeshadow first because I'm gonna go into my BoxyCharm and in my BoxyCharm they have makeup wipes and I'm gonna take the makeup wipes in here which I really like because when I opened it, oh my gosh, there was so much product. It was like nice and bubbly and it doesn't burn my eyes. Then I'm gonna take the Kate um, Somerville Serum. I just want to be cool like the girls on Instagram. That's why I did that fancy little number there. But I like it. It has like a really nice cooling effect and it dried really nicely. And then I took what was left over because I had a lot of hand, obviously. I put it like down into my boobs. Um, because can't go wrong trying to be wrinkle free everywhere basically. But yeah, definitely don't use as much as I just used. And I'm going to take this cover girl, the new fresh one. Okay, don't do what I did there. I just feel like all the girls do it on Instagram and I just want to be like them, okay? And I'm going to take these brushes that were in my BoxyCharm brush and I'm going to use the complexion one. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to use it for foundation, but I liked how it ended up looking. It looked really pretty. I like this foundation. I know there's mixed reviews on it. I think it's really pretty and nice and natural and every day. And I'm going to let this dry and then I'm just going to use another layer. So I did all my other steps, but I wanted to, I mean, I basically do it the same all the time. I wanted to use the new CoverGirl blush and show you this is a liquid brush. Blush. <laughs> this is the first time I used this shade and it's really, really pretty. It looks really crazy. I know. But once you blend it out with like a beauty sponge blender thing, it looks amazing. Then we use the Ciate and this is the setting powder. I really, really like the setting powder and I'm extremely picky when it comes to setting powders because I have dry skin. This didn't dry me out and it smells like coconuts. Like it smells really good. It reminds me so much of the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Um, just doesn't smell like peach. And if it gets in my mouth, I'm kind of okay with it because it kind of tastes like coconuts too. So I really, really liked it. And I th thought this was like a fun little uh, guy in there. I wasn't too excited when I opened the box and then I used it and I was like, oh, I'm excited. I love this. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier bronzer. I never used this one and I wanted to try it out. And I think it's probably my new favorite bronzer. I used to love Hula and I feel like this might take its place, which is kind of exciting. That way I can switch it up and use something a little bit different. It just looks so pretty on my skin. And then I'm just gonna use the big brush that was in the BoxyCharm the three pack and I'm just gonna wipe away all of my setting powder. You probably hear my dog like gulping down water right now. So I'm sorry if you can hear that, it's awkward. Um, but yeah, then I'm gonna wipe away all that powder and look how pretty it looks. I'm really happy with that setting powder. Then I'm using the Laura Mercier Strawberry Blush. It's really, really pretty. It looks great on the skin. I don't know, it just makes your cheeks look really flushed. And I'm taking this mauve light tanny color and I'm just going to put it on my bottom lashes to connect everything. I like it because it's nice and natural and it's not over the top and it looks really, really pretty and it just brings everything together. Then I believe this is called Opal Dreams from the new CoverGirl collection. It looks so pretty. It's got like opals, but it has a hint of pink. So I feel like it all connects and just looks really girly and really feminine. And I'm really happy with the way it looks. And it has such a cool cooling effect. It's like putting Icy Hot minus the hot on your peaks. So I'm into it. Then I'm going to take the new Hoss Labs. They're new um, pens, like their lipstick pens. And it's amazing. They go on matte and they stay forever. And you can top it with a gloss too if you're a gloss girl. I'm such a gloss girl. 
I'm gonna look and see what this color is called because I can't remember. I feel like it's hot rod, but I'm not too sure. I have mom brain. But it's so pretty. It's such a nice everyday wear. I just really, really like this color. And I'm not always like too, too fond of this type of shade, but I think it looks really pretty with everything that's going on here. So I hope you guys like this video. Sorry if I haven't uploaded in a minute. I got a new puppy and he needs a lot of my attention. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that stuff that you're supposed to do these days. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.